everybody, welcome to another what I eat in a day video where I'm gonna show you guys everything that I eat on this particular day, yes. So before I get started with my what I eat in a day video, I just wanna let you guys know that I am collaborating today with Thrive Market once again, and we're giving away a free jar of almond butter for all of my US viewers. So this is their brand of almond butter. So it is vegan, it is gluten-free, it is non-GMO, it is paleo, it is kosher, and it also does not contain palm oil. So if you guys want to get some palm oil-free almond butter, make sure you click the link down below. Like I said, it is only available for my US viewers, unfortunately, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there, so... So I just want to tell you guys a little bit more about Thrive Market in case you haven't heard of them. Thrive Market is basically this online kind of natural health food store. They sell different types of products like food and beauty products and supplements and all sorts of different things at a discounted value. So all you have to do is pay a $60 annual membership fee and then you get things at 25 to 50% off retail value, which is amazing. It's pretty awesome. Definitely check it out down below. Once again, you can get yourself a free almond butter as well as a free 30-day trial of Thrive market so you can give it a go first and see if you like it and yeah anyways I'm just gonna get started with breakfast and I'm let me show you guys what I am eating okay so this first thing looks kind of like a goop of nothingness but I'm hoping it'll taste good <laughs> so I made this last night this is supposed to be a chia seed matcha pudding and I don't think I mixed it properly because it's kind of like chunky I think I didn't make it properly but um, I think it's still gonna taste good so these are the products I use. They're all from Thrive Market actually. So I used whole chia seeds right here. And I also used a little bit of maple syrup, pure organic maple syrup. And I also used some matcha powder. Okay, so this is the brand that I used. And then I added some almond milk and then I mixed it together like this. But I think I was supposed to mix it together, let it settle in and then mix it again, but I forgot to do that. But let me just try it and see how it, see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh, I love matcha. That's really good. Okay, so it's not a complete fail. It looks kind of weird, but it tastes good. And chia seeds are really good for you. So I'm gonna eat this and that's my breakfast. For a mid-morning snack, I decided to have some of this Nutiva organic hazelnut spread on half a piece of toast. And this hazelnut spread, oh my gosh, you guys, it is basically pretty much like a vegan Nutella. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but yeah, I got this also from Thrive Market and you can find it there as well. And it's super delicious. So if you miss Nutella, give this a go. And on the other half of the toast, I decided to try the almond butter, which is super creamy and also very delicious. And I just can't believe it's just pure roasted almonds in that almond butter. And now for the star of the show, I finally got to try this follow your heart vegan egg which I have been dying to try for so long and you can find this on Thrive Market. And the instructions for this are really simple. All you have to do is just add a little bit of this powder mixture with some cold water and it becomes basically like an egg, which is so weird, but also great at the same time. And the only thing that I regret doing here is that I didn't actually properly measure. And instead of just properly measuring, I just kind of eyeballed it because I didn't have measuring spoons. And I think I definitely didn't add enough of the powder mixture. But anyways, I tried to whisk it and then I failed. So I decided to blend it. You live and you learn, okay? So I just heated up some oil on a frying pan and I'm just going to add the mixture. Now I added some frozen vegetables in there and I attempted to make this into like a Korean egg roll dish, which is basically like a side dish from my childhood and my mom would make it for me all the time and I saw mommy Ma mommy Mang, mommy Tang make this once with this follow your heart egg, but I totally failed as you will see very soon. And here I'm just adding a little bit of salt and basically this just takes a long time compared to normal eggs so that's one thing that you want to keep in mind so to make the egg roll thing you kind of want to fold it in so that it kind of becomes like layers of egg i can't really describe it but then yeah i mean this is just not like it's just not working <laughs> i mean it looks okay here and then i'm gonna try to flip it soon and you'll see what happens
Okay guys, so let me just tell you a little bit more about this vegan egg. Now, first of all, please do remember that I didn't measure things properly, so I'm pretty sure I screwed it up and didn't make it properly. <laughs> that being said, I do think this is a great alternative for anyone that misses scrambled eggs or omelets because the taste and the texture are quite similar to eggs from what I remember. I think the texture is a little bit more spongy than regular eggs and the taste is a bit more mild, but I think if you add it as part of a different dish like I did later, you might be able to fool some people. You know what I'm saying. So my second attempt at this Korean egg roll situation was kind of like a semi-success, semi-failure. I just decided to add it into some fried rice later, you know, just because I just couldn't be bothered with it. Anyways, the fried rice has some beans in there, some veggies, and of course the vegan egg, and I'm going to top it with some sriracha. And if you miss like egg fried rice, seriously, this was really delicious. Yay, it's dinner time! Today I decided to make some cold pasta salad and I'm starting out with squeezing about half a lemon and I'm also going to add some of this almond butter and I'm adding probably about three to four tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons of this almond butter into the mixture. This is for the sauce, by the way, obviously, okay? And I'm also gonna add some of this maple syrup once again. And uh, again, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm also adding a little bit of soy sauce. And then you're just gonna mix it together. Super simple sauce. And uh, if you want to, you can add a little bit of water to thin it out, which is what I did here. And of course, I was cooking the pasta while I was making all of this. And after you made the sauce, you're just going to chop up whatever veggies. So I'm just chopping up some romaine lettuce and some, what are these called, snap peas? Also, half a bell pepper, which I had left over. And I'm just gonna add all the veggies into a giant bowl. I'm also adding some spinach because I had some spinach left over. And once the pasta was finished, I just drained it and I rinsed it in cold water because I wanted this to be a cold pasta salad. And then I'm just going to pour the sauce on top. Now, I would just add a little bit of sauce at a time, see how it tastes, make more sauce if you need to, totally up to you. And then you're just gonna mix it well together and then it's pretty much ready to serve. And that was my dinner and that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you live in the US, don't forget to check out Thrive Market and grab yourself that free jar of almond butter because it is delicious and it is free. What more could you ask for? You can also get yourself that 30-day trial membership for Thrive Market to give it a go to see if you like it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.